Alrighty, welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex 3. Now we're in the Taeyong Medical Building. So we can finally get away from the Hangsha City Hub. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say this right here and now. Uh, instead of reminding you guys later. I know I've said it a million times before, but just in case you guys are just tuning in. If you are trying to go for all the Hugh Darrow ebooks and you do not have the Acres Landing System at this point, make sure you get it because you can't leave this level once you've entered it so if you have if you do not have the Icarus landing system and you're incapable of getting it you will not be able to get the Hugh Darrow ebook in this level and therefore not be able to get all of them and therefore not be able to get the achievement so really I can't emphasize that enough because if you're doing an entire extra run through this game to try to get that one achievement and you can't get it that is hours of wasted time so Believe me, I know from experience. So I have no idea what all that noise is in the background there when we start walking up to this door, but it's, it's weird. Anyway, I uh, messed up getting the bonus thing on that hack, but it, either way, we hacked our way through the door. And then there's this guy in this room who is going to have a conversation with us despite the fact that he's dying, and we're just going to stay in there listening to him instead of immediately trying to help him. Enough with the play-by-play. -play. What do you need? There's a valve in the next room. You have to call it. I'll see what I can do. Oh, Obviously, we're gonna help him. <coughs> Please hurry. It's like quickly undying. Help me. Let me take five minutes to explain to you the nature of my trauma. Anyway. Yeah, we have to hack into our way into this room. I'm not sure if there's a time limit on this. There probably is. Before he actually does die. It makes the first part of this level really easy. Access granted. There's some stuff in this room, but mainly we just want to flip this valve over. So the gas can be uh, filtered out of this room. And ironically, there's a gas grenade in here. I don't know if I've actually even demonstrated the gas grenades yet. You saved my life. How can I repay you? You can give me some directions. To where? I need to get to the upper tower. You must use the elevator pass to acquire your sterilization room. But unauthorized personnel aren't allowed up there. But Kim is the god on duty today. He owes me a favor. Just tell him Lee sent you, and he should let you through. Much appreciated, my friend. The least I can do. Great, another guy named Lee. Anyway, yeah, we're definitely going to do that. There's some other stuff over here. But yeah, the uh, the Taeyong Medical Building, uh, no, with the way that, that Hangzhou works in this version of uh, the future is that uh, being that it's like Midgar, obviously it's a city on top of another city, so the city beneath and the city above are connected going, by buddy? various towers it's that are so tall enough area. they expand through both levels, and that's this is one of them. Anyway, uh, this is the this is Kim the guard, and we're going to mention uh, Lee and the fact that uh, he owes him a favor, and all the other options. I'm I'm assuming that um you can you can go with any of those options you want to. Yeah, I'd uh, get mixed results, but uh, I'd prefer to just do this one because there's nothing I have to do in addition to make it work. It just works. Yeah, we need to get through the um, the top of this section of the building and up to the upper city where um, the rest of the tower is and see if we can find uh, where Van Bruggen stashed that crap. So over here is, is something we can hack. And uh, now that we've hacked it, we can change this uh, the location of the scaffolding up here from one side to the other. I want to move it over to the other side first, and then we'll bring it back to where it is. Okay. I love demonstrated that. There's some trank darts over here. I don't really need those, but whatever. I have a lot of free inventory space, and there's not really any additional weapons I want to hold on to right now, so I guess I can just stock up on obscene amounts of ammo. 
But while the uh, thing is over here, we can come in here and loot some more stuff. Sniper rifle ammo and crossbow bolts. I, guess, I really wish I kept the crossbow on me because now I have enough inventory space for it. And I'm getting more bolts for it, so... I know we've gotten that uh, pocket secretary and that code. Now we're going to head back and switch it back over to the other side. Because uh, I decided I'd go with the short path first because obviously it's closer so it'd be less backtracking. And the um, the second path offers us a way down to below there. And we could just jump over the side over right over here by the ladder where the railing is and stealth our way down there that way. Oh, there's a newspaper over here. I guess that's nothing important. But uh, I have another way down there, which is really going to be a nice shortcut. But I do recommend going uh, stealthy through this area, but you can just sort of stealth your way down on by jumping over the side there, then working your way through the security setup down there. But I'm going to show a much more simplified version of that. Now there's another another place where the uh, silent sniper rifle spawns if you bought the tactical enhancement pack. So um, if you still don't have it yet, there's another place you can get it. Got a, uh, ammo, another frickin' ammo capacity upgrade. Might as well give that to the pistol since I still have only 10 rounds in that clip. Now I want to have 13, I think. Yep, 13. That's pretty good. But yeah, right here, we can Icarus our way down. Since we're high enough. And there'll be a stun gun in here. I mean, I, I think I'm going to leave that for now. Even though I have the inventory space to carry it and it would be nice to sell. But uh, when we leave this ventilation area where we actually end up on the outside. It is right over here by these guards. So we can easily just slip past them because we're already on the other side of them. Now uh, this area is pretty tricky because it's got a lot of lasers and a lot of security cameras and stuff like that. But I've already bypassed this entire floor by doing that shortcut, so another great use of the Acres landing system. Now up here there's going to be a guy around this corner, and I can look at my map to see uh, where his triangle is facing to see if he's facing the other way, and sure enough he is, so we can go ahead and do a takedown on him. Discreetly and not violently at all. And he's got a machine pistol, and I might hold on to that, I'm not sure. Nah, uh, go ahead and drop the ammo. These various side rooms here, um, this one and the one other that we could hack into, really don't have that much stuff in them, so I really don't even want to waste time hacking that one. And there's a, um... Not sure what you would call this little bunker area is, but uh, we can hack our way into it and uh, get some stuff in there as well. Screw it, just nuke it. Some pistol and some machine pistol ammo in there, so that's alright. Pritchard, I'm in an elevator leading to the Pangu. Any security features I should know about ahead? Nothing too taxing, I suspect. The Pangu is used mostly for maintenance and storage. Look for a second elevator once you're there. It'll carry you straight into the tower. Okay, so we're in the Pangu, whatever that is. The weird terminology here. Some more ammo in here, some shotgun cartridges, might as well take those. I really need to be more uh, lenient with the double barrel shotgun. And we could hack our way in here, but I'm not going to, and I'll show you why. Now over here, we need to get in there one way or another, whether or not we hack in our way in there, or we go this way. Because we need to be able to shut off that electrical water there. I guess we don't have to, especially if we have the EMP immunity, which we do already, I think. But, um, go and shut that off. 
And uh, there's some non-lethal ammo in here, stun gun darts, and uh, pep charge, which, um, obviously you'd want to get that instead of the uh, stuff in the other locker, um, if you were doing a peaceful run versus a uh, combat run. But once we get up here, we can move these crates out of the way and sort of work our way up this scaffolding, this awkward scaffolding with a bunch of storage crates on it. Finally get up here to this ladder. I really don't know, oh look, there's a view of the skyline. That is one hell of a view, and you can see that the the, um, the ceiling of the city is right on top of us now. Like that is the, the roof above us is the ceiling of the city now. So uh, there's two ways we can get over this crate. We can either move it out of the way, or we can jump over it. With we need either the moving move heavy object augmentation, or the um, high jump augmentation to do that. Once we're over here, there's some more stuff over here. But as you can see, I moved the um, there's some more non lethal ammo there if you need it. The reason I moved it over to where I did, though, is because that's really the only way we can get into this area very easily. We can stack a crate and a fire hydrant on top of each other, but that's very tricky to do. Once we get in here, we can Icarus our way down. Get a big boost of experience for that. Find a reload speed upgrade and a, and a trank rifle as well. But most importantly, this is the location of the Hugh Darrow ebook that I've been going on about for the entire game. The one that uh, we can only get to with the Icarus landing system. So uh, go ahead and pick that up, and there we go. So yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I um, was emphasizing heavily on. If you don't have the Icarus landing system, you will not be able to get this. And that's the one that I, I almost missed it my first time uh, trying to get all of these, but I managed to grind for enough to get the Icarus landing system. Oh, it takes us back around down here where we uh, went through this man to shut off the electrical thing. But um, I managed to get this one. It was one later in the game that required uh, level five hacking that I did that I decided I didn't need to have level five hacking, and I was wrong about that too. So I also will hammer it into your guys' heads. You need the Icarus landing system, and you need level five hacking to get that achievement. So I might be annoying for me to keep repeating myself, but it's uh, it's definitely going to avoid a lot of frustration for those of you who have. Played this game multiple times trying to get the same achievement. But another thing we got from that that corpse we looted there was something very useful for this area coming up. I'll explain what it is when it's around more relevant. So now we are actually going between the two levels of the city from the lower to the upper. And uh, we're going to see how the other half lives. And this is actually the first time in the game we actually get to see the sun. Because <laughs> this is uh, the first time it's actually like in the morning or at, at any point during the day. Now we're still inside this dark tower, so and there's not that much sunlight coming in, so it's still relatively dark and moody and atmospheric. But it is really nice to finally be able to see some sh some sunshine. And Hangzhou is probably incredibly polluted air, so it's probably very smoggy as you can see. Still, this is a really nice touch. Okay then, so this guy right here, this is the uh, the Lee Gang Lab, and uh, he is protect he's guarding it, and he will only let us in if we have the access pass. Now you can kill all these guys and just bum rush your way in there, but it's very un it's very ill, Ill advised. So uh, I actually recovered a, an access pass from the corpse we uh, looted there that had fallen down there with the Hugh Darrow ebook. So that's how I'm able to get in without any effort whatsoever. And there's a room behind him where we can sneak through the vent in there and get into that office. And there's some uh, combat rifle ammo in there, as well as another access pass in there if we didn't have the Icarus landing system. So there still is a discreet way of getting in here without uh, using combat, and uh, also without having the Icarus landing system, which is nice. But uh, everyone in this area will be peaceful except for these two guys in here. You want to leave them alone because they'll uh, be suspicious of you if you come in here. But everyone else in, the, in this lab will not question you being in here as long as the guard has let you in peacefully. And I, I honestly think that's the way to go. Like, there's really no reason why you should do it any other way. But there's another Hugh Darrow ebook right here. And uh, that one's really easy to spot. 
So, um, shouldn't have to worry about that one. But yeah, the, uh, the problem with sneaking into the room that has the other league gang access pass is that, uh, if any of the guards see you through the windows, and chances are they will, it becomes a lot harder to get out of that room, and fighting those guys is really tricky. And uh, you definitely don't want to set the whole place on alert because then you won't be able to get through this area peacefully and getting the access pass in the first place will have been completely pointless. So um, I like the way I did it the best. So we're almost to that data core room. A lot of people are talking about it, I can see. 